Welcome to the Tech Today podcast. It's your host, John Maeda. Here we are with the Tech Today founder, CEO, NASDAQ 100 portfolio. It's a mock portfolio. It's not a live portfolio that you can invest in at the moment, but you know, for the past five years at Tech Today, we've talked about how we like founder CEOs within the broadly defined technology space better than hired manager CEOs. Our view is that founders can better anticipate you know, what customers are going to need, what the space is going to look like down the road, and they're just ahead of the curve. Generally speaking, founders typically uh, exercise intellectual curiosity in a way that you generally won't find amongst hired CEOs. Uh, that is an attribute that we measured for a number of years with our CEO Radar database, where we uh, captured 47 different attributes that we benchmark CEOs on and, and founders are the more intellectually curious cohort. So if you look at the NASDAQ 100, and if you look at those companies, which you can see here, that are led by founder CEOs. And then if you look at the total stock return for those companies since the current founder has been CEO, so CEO start date through present day, take that total return for each founder-led company. And these are the 17 companies in the NASDAQ 100 that are founder-led. And then we benchmark them versus the NASDAQ composite versus the Russell 2000. And it was kind of a one year period. The Tech Today founder CEO group, this group here of the 17 names is the navy blue line on top. NASDAQ composite, as you can see, is the gold line, and the Russell 2000 is the baby blue line or the aqua line. Tech Today founder group, that cohort significantly outperforms the NASDAQ and the Russell over a one-year period, over a five-year period. What else maybe want to add? S&P. Let's try that. S&P at 93%, let's call it, over the past five years. Total stock return. So, you know, we used to publish a CEO Raider founder index for all founder-led companies across the NASDAQ. And the reason why we call that list down to the NASDAQ 100, frankly, is just easier to manage the list. And given that investor interest over the past couple of years has been focused more around the larger technology companies, uh, we wanted to highlight how founders play in that space uh, versus the rest of the peer group, given that that's where investor interest was. So um, I am not able to share the link, but if you find me at Jonathan Maeda on Twitter, we have this list published there. If you find us on Substack at Tech Today, we have the list published there as well. And as I said, it's simply just the NASDAQ 100 uh, founder-led companies that comprise the list. So as some of these CEOs maybe rotate to a chairman-only role, we'll, we will update the, the list to keep it fresh. That is all for now. See you next time.